what's good YouTube all right so there, there may come a time where you want to use an mp4a file whether it's in FL Studio or whether it's in a different DAW or whether it's in a different program altogether for whatever reason that host doesn't support it now in FL's case an mp4a file is not supported it's similar to an mp3 file in that it's obviously an audio file but it's um, it's a lossless high fidelity file format so it's seen as I guess more superior than an mp3 file when it comes to you know the resolution of the audio in that file but it's no good for us if we want to insert it into FL so there's a couple of reasons you might want to use it as a reference a reference track you may want to chop up a sample and it, you happen to have got it from YouTube and you downloaded it as an mp3 file so what what options do we have so you can use like an online file converter you could use that there, there are free ones out there not a problem you could use something like Audacity, which again is free, but it's, um, it's a desktop program that you download and install on your Windows machine. You could try and manually convert it yourself by renaming the file format. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Or I found that the quickest way to do it is actually to use iTunes itself. Because you know if, if you've got an MP4A file, it's from Apple, and it's likely that you probably use iTunes. So it's a natural place to actually do it. And I thought I would show you how to do that today. All right, so we've got iTunes up now and you've got a little sneak peek into what I've been listening to recently. Kind of a nice mixture of albums here, mixtapes, including some golden oldies as well. Cool. Right, so if you go into an album and you right click any track, you'll have a list of options, obviously. And if you look down here, you've got create MP3 version. Now what that does is it duplicates the file and creates an mp3 version, so we'll do that. Okay, so you can see it's created a duplicate. Then if you right click, show in Windows Explorer, that'll take you to where the file was saved. And then what you can do is you can just open it up like that. Go back to iTunes. Sorry, go back to FL even. And then drag it in. And let's do the playlist as well. Boom, easy. So this is um, this is to kind of show you that you can't use MP4 files. So let me just right click. Uh... All right, so you can see here that it's an MP4A file. Then if I try and drag this in, like I did with the MP3 file, you just got an empty channel which is no use to anybody. Now what you might find is when you do that, this is, it's not create mp3 file, it's actually create AAC file. And if that's the case, you just need to change the, I guess the file conversion option that you have here. So what you need to do is you need to go to view or edit rather, preferences. Then we want to go to import settings and then import using MP3 encoder. So as I mentioned, you may find that the default is AAC. If it's AAC, just change it to MP3, hit OK, hit OK again, and then you can do your conversion. Let me just quickly show that in action. And you'll see here now that's changed to create AAC. And that's it. Cool, I hope you guys found that useful. Be sure to check back next week for more videos coming soon. Peace.